property, plant, and equipment dispositions. Now, at the end of its life, or maybe even before it is used up, you get rid of it. And you could either sell it or just dispose of it, right? You could just throw it out. So plant assets might be uh, retired voluntarily or disposed of by sale, exchange, or involuntary conversion. Involuntary conversion means you didn't want to, but maybe the, the warehouse burned down. And you didn't voluntarily get rid of your warehouse. It kind of just burned down. So that's an, what we mean by that. Depreciation is recorded up to the date of disposal before determining gain and loss. Gains or losses from involuntary conversion are often reported as extraordinary items. Now, let's just kind of go through a couple uh, journal entries quickly here. This is a perfect time for it. So let's say I've got a nice clean number is a $100,000 piece of equipment, 10-year life. So depreciation expense is going to be $10,000 per year. Awesome. Now, here's going to be where I'm going to do my math. And over here is where I'm going to want to do my balance sheet, right? I'm going to keep my balance sheet over here. All right. So right now, here's on the balance sheet. What do we show? We are displaying uh, PP&E of $100,000. Now, let's say one year passes. We have $10,000 of depreciation. The journal entry here is depreciation expense of $10,000. Accumulated depreciation, which is the contra account of credit of $10,000. So what happens here? Yes, $10,000 of value technically is, is gone from this, but we don't reduce this. We do accumulated depreciation of $10,000. And then we show, and you can look on a balance sheet. This is how it's displayed. Net PP&E of $90,000. So you see here that you are still taking into account the reduction in value. It's just you're displaying it as net PP&E. Now, your accumulated depreciation is going to keep going up every year as you get more and more depreciated, and you obviously will reflect that in your net PP&E. Now, let's say we've gotten through four years, and then we get rid of the asset. You know, we either sell it or, um, you know, let's say we, we let's say we sold it. So we got rid of this all here. So what's the journal entry to sell it? Well, let's say we sold our PP&E with a, a carrying value, a net book value of 60. Let's say we somehow sold it for 80, right? Good for us. Well, what happened? First, we always like to start with cash. If cash is in the journal entry, because I like to start with it because it tells, tells, really tells a story. Cash of 80,000 we received. Now, what did we get rid of? We got rid of PP&E of $100,000. PP&E of $100,000. You dispose of this at its original value because you didn't affect its original value yet. Your accumulated depreciation, well, you got to get this off your books as well. So accumulated depreciation was 40. So the natural balance for that is a credit. We're going to debit it to get rid of it off of our balance sheet. Now, you would also record another period of depreciation expense if you needed to. But for the purposes of keeping this simple, we will not. Now, what do we do here? We recognize a gain, right? Because we made more money than we did. Um, so this is $120,000. So the plug here is a gain. You always credit gain. You debit losses of $20,000. Now, let's look at this. It's not too complicated. You could say we got cash of 80. We really had value of 60. So yeah, duh, there's our gain. It's just how it's displayed, right? It's just how it's displayed. Accumulated depreciation keeps going up. This is to get rid of the equipment. So now on the balance sheet, we get rid of all that and we just have cash of 80. Awesome. Those are our journal entries for PP&E. Didn't think you were getting through this section without seeing those, did you? Well, I'm glad you saw them. All right.